Tere hea vaataja, me ei oleme jälle siin Pöffi Pop-up Studios Nordic Hotel Foorumis ja minuga koos on siin Karsten Dufröt, kes on just filmi, filmide jüri liige. Hello Karsten, it's nice to have you here. Nice to be here, Hanna, thanks. Um, so your own documentary, Well Fed, which is about GMO crops, was last year here at the Puff Festival yeah. at the documentary program. Yeah. So have you always been interested uh, in science and how science can contribute to solve social is issues like hunger or poverty or...? Well, no. Okay. But yes, I, I always like uh, to find out what is true. And I find that science has a great way of uh, having a, a fact-based view on, on life. Yeah. But, I, but I, at the same time, I like stories too. So that's why I'm a filmmaker. So it's double. But where did the idea for the film come from? I have a, a we did the film with Hide Boersma, my uh, uh, partner, uh, in the film, and he is a. Uh, a uh, science writer, uh, a journalist, um, so he had all these facts and I saw a world where people had a different story than his story and his story was science based, so what was my story? So that was the starting point of our film, yeah. Uh, your second documentary, Sunday Kids, was completed in 2018. Yeah. So. Why is documentary genre important to you, or why documentary? I, uh, I just come across stories that I go like, if you would write it down, you would not believe it. Um, so that's why I really like documentary. It's r real stories about r real people, and it can give a chance to have have empathy for people you normally might not understand or like. Uh, so that's why I really like documentary. Do you think that it's more difficult to make a documentary for kids than, for example, a, a fiction film? Because kids may have this notion that documentaries are boring and so on. You would think so, but mm -hmm. when we had our film here, we had all the rooms sold out and we had great conversations. So actually I was afraid a, uh, a little bit to show it to kids because I was like, it's science, it might be a little bit boring, but they really got it. I think kids are smarter than we often think. Um, have you noticed any tendencies or trends that are specific to this year or what kind of topics interest kids now? Well, I'm in the uh, jury, so I've seen all the films. There are uh, what we what what we noticed was like nine films are with broken families, so w one parent or no parents or a parent that has died or been murdered. Uh, so a lot of broken families is the theme, and a lot of heavy stories. So. Um, a lot of um, uh, a lot of orphanages, a lot of violence. So it was actually there was quite some dark stories. So I, I actually liked the few films that had a whole family, like a father and a mother that would love their kids. I really felt like oh, I, I need that as well. So yeah. Um, but what do you think are current children or youth films very different uh, from the ones that were popular when you were a child? I think this generation sees a lot more film, so it's more intelligent. It can be more com uh, more complicated. When I, I think that when I was a kid, when I was ten, it, it was mostly cartoons or really like fantasy fairy tales but now you can actually have real life films um, I think that's the biggest difference do you have a certain criteria for evaluating films yes no yeah um, first of all what do I feel mm -hmm. how much did I laugh or cry or sympathize with the 
characters. So that's rule number one. And then we can go into the analytics, like the film nerd stuff. Like, how was it shot? Uh, did I follow the protagonist? Did they make choices or not? And that's more technical. But first of all, what, did it do something to me? Do I still think about it after a day or two? But are there any aspects or characteristics that you're um, paying attention to? Any, any specific um, me, things? Me personally, I look at um, why do I need to see your story? Why does this happen to you? We, we often think in life that, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, we, often think, we often think in life that things happen to us. And we have the tendency to write in a way that things happen to a character. While most of the time we do it to ourselves more than things are being done to us. I think that's what I look for. Do you think it's harder to evaluate the children's film, the films? No. I, I think it's um, as honest. It works, it works. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I don't think it's harder. But when you are evaluating them, are you imagining yourself uh, in the shoes of a kid? Or do well, you watch it through the perspective of a, of a child? I think I am still a big child, so I can just see it from my point of view. Okay. Um, how many films in the youth program are appealing to both parents and kids? And do you think it's important that a film uh, is liked by, by the, the parents as well, the grown-ups? Yeah, no. I, I, I really like films that the parents go like, uh, and the kids go, Ruh. so um, most films are for both. Um, but I really like the films where it appeals to a generation and the older the generation doesn't really get it, or I really like that, if that's done well. Yeah. Uh, have you seen any films that you would like to highlight? I um, saw Antigone or Antigone mm -hmm. that just murdered me. It was so good. I just loved it. I wept, I cried, I was angry. That was really, really great. I liked the Boys in the Wood, a comedy from England that was just just great. From Belgium there was a film, Cleo, that was just amazing. The acting was so good and the cinematography was great. So those three films I would highly recommend for you to see. Um, do you know what your next film is going to be about? Actually, um, I'm working on a short film that's going to be a zomcom, a zombie romcom, where two zombies fall in love and go on a, on a date. Um, that's going to be the next short film. The feature film is about a guy leaving church and a new documentary is about optimism based on facts. Interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Karsten, for this interview and uh, I hope you enjoy your time here at Tallinn at the Film Festival. Thank you very much. Thanks. Meie vestasime siin Karsten Frögiga, kes on just filmi jüriis, just filmidest ja tema enda filmi valikutest. Aitäh teile vaatamast!